Hi, welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. So in this session, we're going to discuss about the differences between a procedural programming and object-oriented programming. So in the earlier sessions, we have seen what is procedural programming and object-oriented programming. So uh, like the uh, structure of the execution process in the procedural programming and object-oriented programming we have seen in the earlier sessions. Now we'll see the differences of these two programming languages. So when it comes to procedural programming language, as mentioned, it is a computer coding language which helps to execute tasks from top to uh, down approach, right? So procedural code instructs the computer or uh, you know the program to complete a task using logical steps. So using top down approach, it separates the data and processes into different entities and then it starts executing. When it comes to object-oriented programming, so it has a uh, defined concepts. Uh, everything is calling as object here because the language itself is uh, saying about object-oriented programming and hence the programming model, which is uh, based upon the concept of objects. So it has some concepts, oops, concepts like you know classes, objects, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, etc. So with the help of all these concepts, so object oriented programming is going to be, uh, you know, start executing its program uh, based on the, you know, uh, defined classes and objects. Now we'll see the differences here so that you will understand like what exactly the procedural oriented programming and object oriented programming. This is procedural programming and this is object oriented programming. So coming to the first one is programming is going to divide into small parts called functions. Program is divided into small parts called functions, right? When it comes to object-oriented programming, the program is, the program is divided into small parts, small parts, called objects. There we are calling as functions, here we are calling as objects, right? That's what the first difference between this procedural programming and object-oriented programming. Second one is procedural programming follows top-down approach. So it follows top-down approach, right? When it comes to this object-oriented programming, it follows opposite to the top down. So that means it follows a bottom down or sorry, bottom up approach, right? And second, the third difference is there is no access specifiers in procedural programming. Like no need to define private, public, right? Because all our functions, we can directly define a function, right? So no need of access modifier or access specifier you need to be mentioned in the pro procedural programming. So hence, no access specifiers in procedural program. Okay. When it comes to here, certainly we have this access specifiers. So we have access specifiers like private, public, protected, etc. Based on the access specifier, we're going to provide access to that particular class object. And next one is, so adding new data and function is not easy in procedural programming approach. Because if you want to add a new data or a function, you need to make sure that everything has to be tested because all are written in the same kind of uh, a program file even though it is divided into small parts called small functions, but everything will be in the same file. So when you add a new function, you make sure that everything is going to be tested or make sure everything is working as expected. When it comes to here object oriented programming, adding new data and function is easy because all our classes here, objects, you can declare a new class and then you instantiate and you use that class, right? So adding new data, right? and functions is not easy. But here, same case, adding new data 
and function is functions is easy okay so in procedural programming overloading is not possible in procedural programming right overloading that means if you want to write uh, uh override uh, sorry overload any existing function right to uh, perform different task that is not possible in procedure oriented programming hence it is not possible when it comes to here right this is object oriented programming right overloading is possible overloading is possible in oops correct so overloading is nothing but right defining same function with different parameters right and that way it is going to give a different function or an action to the end user like add of two numbers same add function i can write it for three parameters four parameters or for two strings that's what overloading happening it okay and next one is in procedural oriented programming there is no concept of data hiding or inheritance no data hiding also no inheritance right so but in here right in oops in oops right data is more important hence we have these features right so the concepts of data hiding and inheritances inheritance is used so i think you guys are aware of what is this hiding and inheritance hiding is nothing but it is just giving essential uh, data to the outside and irrelevant information is going to be hidden as like uh, taking a photo from camera so you, when you click on capture or ok button it will just take the photo it does not display the functionality inside of your camera similarly when you send the email you will just notice that email was successfully sent or email is uh, delivery notification you may receive when you specify wrong uh, recipient in the to or cc or bc uh, no address right so you only see a email was email is sent successfully and how the email is sending is not going to be visible for any user whatever internal process happening it that is not visible that's what hiding this is that we can use it here in the oops concept but not in procedural world programming okay so coming to the next difference procedural programming is used for designing medium sized program so it is used to design right medium sized programs or projects when it comes to here we can use this oops concept large and complex programs it is used to design large and complex programs or projects so that means as it is everything is you now writing in a single file or in top down approach so we cannot prefer this uh, uh, programming for a large and uh, complex programming uh, development because of having everything in the same file and going back to top to bottom which actually takes a lot of time for you to add a new data a new function and um, it doesn't have any kind of concepts as like we have groups for inheriting or uh, you know um, uh, like you know uh, abstraction or encapsulation right or reusability right so we don't have any uh, these patterns or uh, features in this procedural programming Hence, this can't be used for larger complex programs. Okay, but whereas in OOPs we have a OOPs of concepts, hence you can use this OOPs concept for complex and large programs. So I'll restart code reusability, right? Absent in procedural programming, code reusability is not available. But here we have code reusability. Code reusability is exist in OOPs using inheritance. Okay. 
So, and again coming here, right? Procedural programming uses the concept of procedure abstraction. Whereas in OOPS, it uses this concept of data abstraction. So, procedural programming is or programming uses concept of procedure abstraction. Whereas here, oops, concept uses the concept of, right, data abstraction. That means hiding of data here, we are having it in oops. And here we have procedure abstraction where we can hide procedures instead of data. Hence, it is uh, less secure. So procedural program does not have any proper way of hiding data. So it is lesser security. Okay. So procedural programming does not have any proper way of hiding data, right? So it is less secure. Whereas in oops, right in oops concept we have a data abstraction right oops object oriented program provides data hiding so it is more secure okay sorry So these are the uh, couple of major differences between procedural programming and object-oriented program. So as I mentioned in the later classes, earlier classes, the procedural programming are C, Fortran, Pascal, Basic, right, etc. When it comes to here, C++, Java. Python, C sharp, etc. Okay, so now every program is supporting OOPS, hence, right, it is uh, more popularly using this OOPS concept with the concepts defined in the OOPS, like you know, classes, objects, and abstraction, encapsulation, right, and polymorphism concepts throughout uh, any, any programming language. Okay. So this is what earlier programming used to use, but nowadays we used to use this OOPS concept in all programming languages, okay? I hope you understood the differences between procedural programming and object-oriented program, okay? Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.